Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you this beautiful package that I received from the lovely Nikki from Ancient Visions. It's like I bought myself a little bit of a present. It's so beautifully presented in this nice eco-friendly brown paper with brown string. I just love this pentagram wax seal that she has put on the string there. And she's added as a bonus this little Hamza Hand mobile charm. So that's nice. And it's always nice to buy yourself a little bit of a witchy present. It's just about the autumn equinox here, so I thought, why not? And if you're wondering why I smoke my packages with Palo Santo, it's not really to cleanse them of any negativity that I perceive that they have. I don't really consider my packages that I buy from my witchy friends to have any negativity in them. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy it from those people, frankly. But it's really just to hold the space sacred and to make it a nice moment for myself to consecrate the items that I'm buying for my use and really just to make it an enjoyable moment for me because I really enjoy Palo Santo. And so I will show you what I've bought. Let's just get into it. So how are you today? It's Pandora Le Cora. And I thought that today I would do a little bit of a Witch's Apothecary and Herb Shelf tour as well as open the beautiful items that I bought from ancient visions for you. So this is the box of beautiful items that I bought from the lovely Nikki from Ancient Visions. And Nikki is a beautiful person in the community. She is a friend of mine on Facebook and I always love interacting with her. And I think that sometimes we can overlook some of the smaller name shops run by some of the maybe not so well people in our community. I know that shops like Elfheim, Muses of Mystery, Earthly Alchemy, shops like that have really got their names out there and in a lot of cases they're run by really fantastic people that some of us have built professional relationships with and things like that. I know I will always and forever support Earthly Alchemy, the beautiful Elder Crow. I love what he does and also Juniper Moon has done a great job of getting her name out there in her early days so I think that she is really going places but I think that sometimes we can forget to support our friends and people who have actually got really great shops um, that are maybe not so well known. So I really encourage you to maybe look at what some of your friends in the community are doing and you know friends of friends, people like that because sometimes you can overlook some really great shops and people that are selling some really awesome items. So first of all the package is just packed and wrapped so beautifully. It's got this yellow tissue paper and it looks horrible with my face because yellow is not my colour. But it does look really nice just to look at. It looks so nice and bright and happy. Nikki must have sensed that I need that. And it's got this potpourri in it with these lavender and rose petals. And I feel like these must have been homegrown. So I will be hanging on to these and probably putting them in a bowl and keeping them for potpourri. And then we've got some, just some confetti type stuff as well. So that'll be good for the children for craft. So the main thing that I bought from Nikki is this soy wax candle. And this is what made me really want to buy from her because I was just really, I saw these on Instagram and I was really attracted by these soy wax candles. And it's a jar candle. So, oh, smells amazing. This is a Bay Rum fragrance. And so you've got, like it comes with this jar, and she's put some hessian around there with a little pentagram charm. And this just looks really beautiful. I love it. And I don't know, like you can really get soy wax candles pretty easily, but something just drew me to this one. It seemed really magical, and I really love it. And this will be perfect for what I want to use it for, which is putting a sticker on here with a picture on it and you will probably see that in a video in the future at some point um, but I won't give anything away and so thank you so much Nikki I love my candle oh it does not disappoint I know that that will be really beautiful when I burn it so another thing I bought was this lovely piece of jewelry Nikki has got some really nice jewelry on there and I bought this cuff bracelet so it is a silver cuff bracelet and this one is Tibetan silver, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm just having trouble with this bag. Oh, it's closed up really nicely, that's why. There we go. Oh, that's a really nice organza bag. I like this tie. That's lovely. And so, 
you've got, I don't know how well you can see that oh, because of the lighting, there's peacocks on there. So that is really pretty, it should look really nice on. There we go. I love that. Can't go past a silver cuff bracelet, I reckon. I think that they're really stylish. I like to wear them with a lot of different outfits. Maybe not this particular outfit, but one of my more hippie outfits that I like to wear. So that would be nice. Thank you so much for that, Nikki. And I also bought some herbs. So she had some little bags of herbs on there. So I stocked up a little bit because I'm getting more into using herbs now. And what I like to use them mostly for is just for sprinkling them on my altar spaces. So when I'm setting up an altar space, either for a particular ritual or spell or for a seasonal altar setup, I like to sprinkle some appropriate herbs. And I'm really getting more into it. For a long time there, I didn't have very many different herbs. And now I'm getting more into working with the different energies of different herbs and really enjoying it. So I've got some yarrow there. And she's got a nice little description on here with the botanical name, uh, the gender, planet, element, and uh, some little keywords about what it's for. So I've got protection, love, purification, psychic powers, and dispels negativity. So that's good. And then, oh, she's given me a sample of wormwood. So that's nice. It says ritually sown and harvested herbs. So that's fantastic. And then, yeah, again, she's got protection, calling spirits, love, and psychic powers. Uh, we've got some catnip. And what was the other one? I can't even remember now. Basil, that's right. I'm really looking forward to working with some of Nikki's basil. These were all grown by her herself. And getting herbs from another witch's garden is to me just second to none even to using my own herbs from my own garden almost like sometimes i'll have a really great harvest that feels really magical to me but getting herbs from another witch's garden is just fantastic it just has this power boost that is just like no other and i absolutely love it i just think about how much love and effort they put into growing their herbs and it just makes it seem so magical to me and I think even just that psychological element of it makes it so powerful for me and I, I do grow my own basil I've got a really lovely variety of cinnamon fragranced basil in my garden and it's just beautiful I haven't been able to cultivate it on purpose though like I had a plant that went to seed and some seedlings came up by accident and I harvested some of the seeds and tried to grow them but I couldn't so apparently I haven't got that much of a green thumb and that's really disappointing but I am really glad to have some of Nikki's herbs they're beautiful um, to be honest I'm really impressed with the quality I think that these are going to be gorgeous and I probably will buy some more different things from her at a different stage and I bought some of these little apothecary jars to put them in so I'll clean these off and put my herbs in them and hopefully that'll work really well. And maybe I can even take those little stickers off and put them on these jars. That would be really good because I haven't really got proper labels. So that's all the stuff that I bought from Ancient Visions and I will clean these up, put my new herbs in them and I will show you my herb and apothecary shelf. So this is what I use for my herb shelf. It is an old TV cabinet for those old obsolete TVs. So you've got the section here where your TV would go and I've just got some jewellery there and a crystal grid. And up the top here in this sort of bare section I've just put some art. So some of this is my own art and some of this is other people's art. And down here where you've got this little slot where you would put the DVD player or you know the gaming console or such. I've just put some boxes. So this one's jewellery stuff, so I won't show you this one. This one is where I keep my stick incenses. And it really smells really interesting now that I've got this new stick incense that I got sent to me from Star Yard Supplies. And that is a, I think it's Otherworld scented incense. And I've also got my Juniper Moon Apothecary stick incenses. And so I've got some new favourites there and I've got some Palo Santo sticks in packets and just various different commercial stick incenses. So that is where I keep all of the stick incense. And then 
In this one, I've got some different incense blends that I made up and some different resins and things. So I've got Vegemite jars. That's how you know I'm an Aussie witch. There's always going to be Vegemite jars. So that's just a big chunk of pine resin. Uh, that's a blend that I made up. That's got some dragon's blood in it. I don't know what else. I've actually got a really bad habit of not writing down my blends. So I've got a book that I was gifted by Alvine Green and I've started writing down my blends. It's a really bad habit that I've had. I think that's just some Kapal or something. And then I've got some sandalwood chips. I love this little container. Pretty sure that's just frankincense and rosemary. This one would have some dragon's blood in it and invariably probably some sandalwood as well. Uh, my old patchouli. Some myrrh granules. I love these. And then there's a few other myrrh granules that I was gifted by Willow Wild Moon. So they're very special to me and I use them for special occasions. Oh, I love these. This is an old brand that you used to be able to get. I don't know if you still can, but it's called Moon Goddess. And it's got this lovely pentagram on it. Just... Oh, still got half of my benzoin left because I don't actually like benzoin that much. Uh, in terms of the smell, I don't like the smell of it. If you want to, you know, have a really powerful banishing and exercising um, power, then benzoin is just absolutely second to none. And now I've got some kapal. That's, it's called Aztec kapal, but really it's just a standard run-of-the-mill kapal. Um, some cinnamon. I think that is actually just real cinnamon that I'm keeping down here. For some reason and I love these old um, herb and spice canisters for incense blends they're really good if they come with the top that's got the then you can just sprinkle it straight onto your charcoal it's really handy so there's that so this little cupboard at the bottom of the cabinet holds some various items it's got some candles some decks an empty bag that I got from a jewelry shop and some workout equipment I used to do quite a lot of workouts down here but my husband and I have set up a home gym in the garage so I mostly work out there and then I've got this kind of rustic timber box with a photo frame at the front there this is my custom Ouija board that was made for me and there's my Ouija planchette I've got this box that was gifted to me by my mother-in-law with this lovely evil voodoo doll fairy there <laughs> and I've got this little box that holds cone incense I've got my one of my old books of shadows there and some herb samples from Belladonna and Bones and these are some marigolds that I grew myself and I've been wanting to, to share them with friends because they are actually a heritage variety of marigolds so they grow really nicely and really well and they're really nice so I haven't got too much in there I've got some information up here from Lush Marla Beads about Marla Beads and their care so I would like to stick more pictures up on the inside of these cupboards and then I've got this uh, cane chest that I've got some more herbs in. So here we've got some Palo Santo sticks, some sandalwood, some more Palo Santo sticks, and some more sandalwood. And these are Palo Santo chips, so they're quite good for burning on a charcoal, but not really too good for just burning as a, a stick. You know just lighting the stick at the end like your sticks are they're really handy for that and then some different incense blends that is some wood betony that was given to me by willow wild moon this one is mugwort that i grew myself i've got heaps of that some cedar and some dragon's blood resin so that's where i keep pretty much all of my dragon's blood resin and now I'm going to have to move this armchair over to the front of here so that I can show you this cabinet up here. So I'll just open up the cabinet now and just look at all of the witchy goodness. I love it. And I actually like how everything's a little bit mismatched. I know some people have apothecary or herb shelves where all of the jars and bottles match and everything's just set up immaculately and looks really smick and beautiful. But I kind of like the way I have it. I recently watched Alvine's latest 
Herb Shelf Tour as well and she had a similar thing happening where all of the bottles were mismatched and it just looked really nice and I just kind of like that. That's more my style personally. So what I've got here is I've got some of these old, I think these are like mustard jars that have got some little symbols on the top but they're really good for holding herbs. So I've got some a few things there, some devil's claw, orris root powder. Um, this one I think is just raspberry leaf. I've got most of my raspberry leaf upstairs and some old vervain. I'm going to have to use that up because it's really old. And there's some graveyard dirt that came from a particular grave. There's some storm water in this bottle. And then I've got some mandrake here. Mandrake has become one of my favorite herbs. I'm going to have to buy some more of that. That's just an empty jar. And this one is a container that has got lavender on it that I actually keep lavender flowers in. So I love that. And this little tin at the front has got this beautiful picture on it with this sweet little girl at a graveyard. And this holds all of my belladonna and bones balms, or most of my belladonna and bones balms. Here's a few that don't fit in there. This one I love. It's nearly all used up. There's some of her wormwood wand balm. And I've got some of these little essences. I bought a couple of these from a local shop a long time ago. There's my Juniper Moon Apothecary Loose Incenses. And then I've got Nikki's Herbs here that I put in jars. Some of these ones, I've got some basil and some catnip. I already put some of these on my altar. So I sprinkled some basil and some catnip on my altar because I'm working towards love and compassion and self-love and self-compassion at the moment and basil and catnip are both really good for those along with some of my lotus flowers from juniper moon apothecary if i can find them oh they're here somewhere but yeah those are my juniper moon apothecary herbs and there it is. So I sprinkled some lotus flowers and then I sprinkled some of Nikki's basil and catnip as well. I particularly love, love basil for love and that kind of thing because it's really good for harmony and communication. A lot of people would overlook basil for a love spell, but I really recommend it. And then I've got the smaller apothecary herb jars that I've got here and I was able to take the labels off. So I'm really happy about that. So I've got a few of these here with my yarrow and wormwood and rue in them. So that's really nice. I actually bought four of these and I broke one and I had to cut it off the end of the video because it broke while I was filming and then I swore, which is a really classy moment for the great and magical Pandora Lake Horror. But anyway, I've got my hot foot powder here from Juniper Moon Apothecary. I will at some stage put it in a little container, but for now I've this this little envelope is just the way to go. I've got one fragrance oil there. Most of my fragrance oils are in other places around the house. I've got my Earthly Alchemy Enchantress Potion. Most of my spray potions are upstairs, including my Earthly Alchemy Florida Water, which I use in my housework all the time. And then these items both came from Staryard Supplies. So that's her Bang Bang Baby Naughty Powder, she calls it. And my Goddess Lilith Black Spell Salts. And my other black salts are here as well. So I've got my Earthly Alchemy one and my Juniper Moon Apothecary one. And then this was the first black salt that I ever bought. It just came in a packet, like one of those mass market sort of packets. And they've all got different energies. I like all of them. And this one has got some, some charcoal discs in it. And now I've got this little sand gecko on top there. <laughs> And that's an empty Florida water bottle. I just keep it because I love the art. That's got some more charcoal discs in it. And then there's this witch with a sword. And she's got a little pumpkin under her. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit dark. But I've got some bottles here. This one's actually got some little selenite flakes in it. And an empty rose water bottle that I was gifted by Willow Wild Moon. And there is some pine resin, I'm pretty sure that is. And that is some mugwort that I grew myself. There is some white sage. I tend to buy white sage in smudge bundles and then break them up and use the broken up smudge bundles so it doesn't produce as much, much smoke. But at the moment I am using a full bundle. 
And then I've got some mugwort there that I grew myself as well. Some patchouli that I grew myself. And this plant actually died. I'm so sad. I'm hoping to get some patchouli growing again at some stage. These are eucalyptus leaves that I found at Ban Ban Springs. And then I've got some calendula there in this container. And some more. Oh no, that's not my gourd. That's lemon verbena. And that came from another witch's garden that I did a herb swap with. So I absolutely love that. As I said, I love using herbs from other witch's gardens. This is my big jar of frankincense that I got from Earthly Alchemy. And I love it. I've only just made a dint in the jar. Like I haven't really used that much. It should be enough to last me for at least 10 years, to be honest. Um, and I probably would buy some other bulk herbs from him. They were a really good price and it was a really good deal. So I'm really happy with that. So over here, I've got an empty perfume bottle. That is the original Gwen Stefani lamb fragrance. I was able to take the top off and I just used the perfume bottle for ornamentation as much as anything because it's a really beautiful color. I love how it's green on one side and yellow in the middle and red on the other side. And it's just so beautiful. It's got this kind of Tetris design on the side. And then I've got some more Vegemite jars, of course. This is some rosemary that was grown by Willow Wild Moon. So I love that. That is some sage that grew in another witch's garden. It probably seems strange that I've got this tiny little bit of it, but I'm saving it. And then I've got some red sandalwood in that one. A little bit different to your usual sandalwood in fragrance and energies, but really nice and I like to have some of that on hand. This wizard jar is very special and it's got my favorite incense blend in it. I like to use this incense blend. This is a special one that I made up for Sawain for the Sawain season and the dark half of the year which we are now in in the southern hemisphere so that's a little bit exciting. So I might just put that at the front. There's a little pottery label that says rosemary so that's nice. And what have I got on the back here? Just some more incense blend. And that's very nice. So up the top here, I've got some jars and bottles. I've got some skull shaped ones. This one's got a celestial little moon and some stars on it. Love heart shaped one and just a Buddha beer bottle. This one is your witchcraft ginger beer. So it's got a little crone on a broomstick there. These ones are very nice as well. This one's supposed to look like the Eiffel Tower and some energy drink containers. These ones I probably don't need to hang on to. I should just take them to the depot. But these ones have got a picture of Baron Samedi on it. So that's pretty cool. And then I've got this lantern. So there you have it everyone. There is my apothecary and herb shelf. I hope that you have enjoyed this tour. And I did the tour on the end of a haul as a little bit of an experiment because I find that it seems that people really love tours of any kind, just witchy room tours, witchy shelf tours, bookshelf tours, anything like that. But they dislike hauls and unboxings because they're apparently too commercial. And I just want to say that pretty much everything that I've got here, with the exception of a few things that I grew or wild harvested, I have bought at some stage. So this is really just as commercial as anything. So just want to put that out there. But yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this tour. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. And I will see you next time.